Hello everyone, Sigs here, and welcome back to Pal World yet again. Uh, jumping into the game here, picking up where we left off last time, as always. And uh, we got some pretty good stuff done, so we leveled up uh, through capturing a bunch of pals, as we've been doing, which I know is kind of just boring, grindy, not at all exciting content. But um, through that process, we were able to get to level 44 and unlock a new tier of sphere that we can make. And in order to do that, we need this pal metal here. So hopefully, okay, that's not working. Okay, yes it is. Okay, yes it is. Um, we can cook that pal metal there. And then we kind of ramped up our production uh, with getting more wood for more uh, charcoal, for more fiber, and more stone for paldium. And we got a good amount of cement. So we're in pretty good shape to get all the materials that we need to make a bunch of these spheres. So in this section, we're going to use those spheres to keep gaining levels. Try to get to level 45 here. Make that new weapon, which I'm hoping is a lot better. And then hopefully be able to take on some of the bosses soon. Um, to that end, I do also want to go farm some of those skill fruits. Um, and maybe get some abilities that'll be worth teaching to my pals. To uh, make it a lot easier to fight these bosses. Because we kind of got... Excuse me, Jesus. Uh, sorry about that. <laughs> Random hiccups. Because um, I'm getting my ass kicked fighting these bosses is what I'm trying to say. So um, hopefully we can get a little bit stronger and be able to defeat the last three bosses for the final thousand gamer score. So um, we'll be happy when this cake is done. Then we can just stash the cakes in the box. And they don't spoil in there, which is nice. And then we're keeping the mozzarinas and the chickens out for now, and then hopefully I can just queue up like, I don't know, like a dozen cakes or so, and then just have a bunch of cakes ready to go for future breeding. Um, charcoal, hopefully somebody cooks that soon. Got our berries here that we've just been using as our like default food, which I think is fine enough for now. And these Anubis eggs are right about to hatch, so I'll wait and grab those and then put the two other ones in so they start getting ready to hatch. And then we will have lots of extra handiwork dudes. These Anubises are amazing for handiwork, so I don't know why it says can't be assigned when he clearly can be. Ugh, God, it's this bug where it thinks it needs cooling when it totally does not. So that's always super annoying when that happens. Um, I think I'm just going to recall all the Anubises out, the Anubi, if you will, if I can actually get into a position to do that. So we go one, two, three. One, two, three. We're also using them for mining, uh, just to stockpile the stone for Paldium, which seems to work pretty well. So, let's see if that fixes it. Looks like it did. So, go right there, sir, please. Oh, God, it's not working. And he's going to go around. Don't go around. Don't go around. I can't even jump up on this to get him. Oh, God. They like to run out and around the base, and they get lost, so... Oh god, whoa, he's so fast. Okay, there he goes. Wow, he's actually working. Hopefully he stays and finish. Okay, nope. <laughs> Let's see if I can assign him. No suitability with power generator. What? I mean, at least he's working on it. Okay, there we go. He's assigned. Oh god, and then he immediately stops. Like, what? And then he runs around. See what I'm talking about? Oh, my god, this is just absurd. Oh, whatever. <laughs> it is what it is, so. Um, wait for some more of these ingots to finish. You know what? That's actually a good enough amount to queue up here, so I'll cancel this since nobody's even doing anything here. Uh, I gotta pick these up. Oh god, I hope I don't lose all that material. How do I even get that? I have to go around. There we go. And go ahead and make as many of these as we can for right now, which is 12. And then hopefully some of the Anubises come over and work on them. I could use my Anubis that's like in my party. Um, but currently using my Jormantide to cook because this other one doesn't seem to like to cook very often. Um, once I leave, hopefully he starts cooking, but um, let's go ahead and hatch the eggs here. Get two new Anubises. Uh, Vanguard and Runner. Uh, Vanguard and Runner, so I think those are like the parent abilities. I, the Bushi and Pen King that I've been using to breed. I uh, don't really have very good abilities, so these Anubises aren't ending up being very good, but at least I could condense them into a much better Anubis in the future, potentially. So We'll just keep hatching those. It's nice to have all the extra handiwork dudes around. And, oh god, is he actually gonna go work? No, he's gonna very swiftly carry eggs. 
Let's see if I can intercept him. Just get these spheres made so that I can go out and keep leveling up. Please work. Oh my god, dude. Why does this never work? Why do you never work? Could be my positioning, but there we go. Okay. Go to work. Go to work, sir. Turn around and start working, please. Okay, he's, he's working. Good. So, it's, it's, it's moving. Not the quickest thing in the world, but it is moving. Uh, we don't need a ton of spheres to get started either. Just need enough to capture a few things, and then we can let the rest cook while we're out and about, hopefully. It's kind of the plan. So, I'd say we're in pretty good shape here so far. And we're going to get ready to go out. And uh, we'll try to get those uh, skill fruit tree things, see if we can get some good skills, and just get experience, get to 45, make the weapon, and then probably in the next section we'll be able to do some bosses, I think is the, is the goal. So um, let me check out the... I think I have an open slot. No, I don't. What I could do at this point... I don't really need the Vixies. I have a good stockpile of the base level spheres, and I'm really at the point where there's nothing that is worth catching with the base level spheres. So I'll get rid of a Vixie. I get out a new Anubis to really ramp up the stone production because I'm sure that's all he's going to want to do. Even though, really, I want him for handiwork. Um, see, they just... He didn't even finish the one sphere, and then he just stopped. So let's see if I can put this guy on him. Finish these spheres, and then yeah, that carbon fiber will just get finished on its own. That's fine. Um, and then let's see how we're doing on cakes, too. So I just... I don't want to, like, have too many separate things that could be used for kindling. I just want to have the one right there so that that be kind of default to doing that instead of getting distracted doing all these other things. But I do just want to queue up like a bunch of cakes at once because they won't spoil while they're in here. Um, and then I can just have a bunch and I have to worry about making more. Um, it seems like the eggs get generated a lot quicker than the milk does though. So I'm going to get rid of one of the chickens and add a cow. And we'll just let that stockpile for a little bit longer, and then we can queue up a bunch of cakes, and then be done with all that kind of stuff. So let me take the eggs and the milk out. I've just been putting them in the cooler. I don't have any ice pals, and even if I did, that resets the timer, which is kind of nice. Uh, even if I did, they uh, they never seem to like to actually cool it. So oh, and what do you know? The Anubis left. Oh god, can they not get back here? Do I have it in a really bad spot? Is that the problem, or, or what? I, I, I don't know, but they just never seem to want to mess with it. So thankfully this is cooking quite nicely. And I'd like to just... assign... some more spheres here, and just make, I don't know, just give me like 20 so I can go out and catch some things, you know what I mean? Um... I'll finish this one. It's fine. Now I'll cancel. Pick up the materials. Good. And then... Queue up 14 more, plus the three that I have. That would be fine if it would get made. Fortunately, nobody seems to want to make it. So, I'm gonna just put my Anubis on it. Because I know that he won't run away. He will just work on it. Um, Unfortunately, that leaves this open. Oh, good. The, the base Dormantide came over. I want to assign him to that, but it really doesn't seem to make a difference if he's assigned or not. He's just going to do what he wants to do. So, um, hopefully, he keeps cooking those. And if we can just wait for all that to be cooked, we can we can queue up like a couple. Well, at least a hundred spheres. I think I have materials for, which would be huge. Um, I'm hoping the capture rate is, is significantly better. Then the hyperspheres, I think, I think it's an even, like this is 7, 14, 21, 28, like I think it's relatively even, but even that little bit hopefully is enough of a difference. Um, I can go ahead and hatch this egg, uh, you know, I don't even need to, and it's such a pain to, oh, can I get it from right here? Okay, perfect. So we'll hatch this one egg, we'll just leave that open, I don't have anything else to really hatch at the moment. Um, I could, however... I can access the thing. Uh, I got this base upgrade for making the electric furnace. Oh, and that's max. Interesting. So there's only three bases. I thought I was going to be able to make a fourth eventually. So I may even dismantle a base at some point and make a new base geared towards something different. But for the moment, we have our iron base that we definitely need to be making this pal metal. And then we have our refined ingot base, which I'm going to need to make ammo and stuff going forward. So that's probably fine. Um, I'll just assign another Anubis. 
I think is the play. Maybe even another Jormund Tide would be worth it, but because um, we need a lot of stone to make a lot of Paladium, considering it's basically 15 Paladium per sphere. Actually, it's more because how many how many Pal Metal per sphere? Is it five five Pal Metal per sphere? Where are we at? Yeah, so it's takes four, so 20, 30 Pal Metal per sphere. I think if I'm doing that calculation right. So I definitely need a lot of stone, which is fine. And then if the Anubises would just actually go do handiwork stuff, this stuff would finish so freaking quick. They just seem to always default to mining, which is really annoying, but it is what it is. So I'm going to make a new bed for the pal. Just throw a random-ass bed down somewhere. We don't really care too much about their comfort. We just need them to not be super stressed. See, now they all come over and help, but... And then it unassigns the Bushi from what I wanted them to be doing as well, probably, so... It's just a nightmare dealing with all this base stuff, honestly, but... A uh, good amount of charcoal getting finished in there. Which I would love to convert to fiber, but apparently that's gonna take a while to be done. Since nobody with handiwork wants to go over. Generating wood quite quickly to turn into more charcoal, which is nice. Oh, did I see an Anubis come over here to help? Nope, I lied. He's carrying eggs. Shocker. Come here. Snagged him, dude. It's about to be nighttime anyway, so they're all gonna stop working, but if he could finish up that carbon fiber, that would be dope. Nice. And I think the spheres are done. Wonderful. I'll probably queue up a few more before I go out. Looks, looks like I can with this pal metal. There we go. Another five. Nice. Get that done. And if we could finish that carbon fiber, then we could start some more with this charcoal. Everybody went to bed, so I'm going to sleep. So they wake up and get back to work. There we go. Cockadoo will do. Up we come. And, nope, he's unassigned. That's what happens. And now Jormantide's over here. Aye, aye, aye. Let's see. Sign. No, not the ranch, dude. Make me some ingots, sir, please. Nope. Well, whatever. <laughs> uh, it's like not even worth the... the trouble of trying to get them to do the right thing. At least it's cooking. I don't need that much more right now, to be honest. Um, let's put my Anubis back here. Finish these last few that we'll take with us. And if I can just finish that carbon fiber and queue some more before I go... It'll make me very happy. Look, like, this guy can't even get on the stone pit. There's so many extra dudes working on it. He can't even, he doesn't even have room, but he won't just go and do a handiwork thing on his own. Like, it's so frustrating. Um, but it is what it is. Um, I'm hoping we have enough ammo to get to the next level, because I'm going to need to make new ammo for the new gun anyway, and I'm hoping I don't need to repair this. I'm hoping it just lasts long enough. Um, I will repair the other things, though. So the pickaxe, wait, where are we at? That's not where we want to be. We want to be here. Uh, that's fine, and then the bow, I just, I hate dumping the civilization parts into it, but it's been my go-to weapon for, like, weakening pals when I would otherwise overkill them with the, uh, with the gun, so. I store my cakes in here so they don't spoil, because I forgot to do that. They will not spoil in that box, so we can breed five things in the future. And, once that mozzarella milk piles up, we can make some more cakes. Again, I want to just queue up, like, I don't know. 12 or 15 or just like a lot. Oh, this thing is about to break. If that accidentally breaks and I don't realize and then everybody doesn't have anything to eat, that's gonna suck. So, I have to keep an eye on that, but... Uh, yeah. Queue up a bunch of cakes and then just not have to worry about making cakes again. This is done, which is wonderful. Thank you. And hopefully... God, it takes so much charcoal. It's wild. But we'll just keep stockpiling as much as we can. How are we doing on wood anyway? Eh. I guess I'll wait. Yeah, I guess I'll just wait. I'll queue up more later. Um, okay. I think I think we're good to, like, go head out now, though. I'll, uh, throw this man here to just finish that up. And... Just short on pal metal to be able to make more. Which... Oh, is the Dormantide doing it? My man. See, he cooks it pretty quick. I mean, if he does this while I'm like just like out and about doing other stuff and I come back and this is all done, then we'll be in great shape. 
Um, and then we'll grab more ore from the other base and, and make more later, but... Um, okay. Make two more, just real quick, and then, and then I don't have to come back as soon. So, that's all the carbon fiber we can make. Uh, I got a decent amount. I could always use more, though, that's for sure. I would like to... You know what? I'm gonna do it. I'm just gonna queue up a little bit more charcoal as well, because it takes a long time. I could probably get a little bit better wood production going as well. Let's uh, grappling hook over. So let's slowly, slowly walk here. Come on, come on. There we go, there we go. Alright, so I'll take this out. If I can get the right angle, cancel, and then just stock it up with, like, I don't know, a whole bunch. That's fine. Okay, um, I'd say we're in good shape now to head out. I wouldn't, certainly wouldn't mind having some more spheres, but... I have a spot for this somewhere. Maybe. I don't know. Arrows, no. Take my arrows. Uh, Christ. I know that I have... Okay, that's fine. Good. Okay, uh, let's just go out. I know this is, like, stupid. It's been almost 20 minutes and, like, nothing of consequence has happened. So it doesn't really make for great footage, but I just like to have everything of the playthrough in place. Maybe it makes good background noise, I don't know. But uh, let's go do some stuff. So I'm going to go look for some skill fruit on the way to getting experience. It's going to be the plan. So there's a skill fruit, I think, right there. Also, there's a little dark area I haven't been to yet. So let's go, let's go here. And let's see if we can find some of these trees. I do have a little map pulled up that has all the skill fruit locations. So, ouch, sir. That was not very nice. Excuse me. And what we're really looking for is a uh, seed cannon, I believe, is the one that we want. I, I hear that ability can be busted because um, if, you know, it fires like one hit and then it fires like all these little mines. Um, but the little mines can all detonate at once, and if they do, it's just like insane damage, so that's kind of the idea that we want to find that ability to help with the bosses. Um, this guy I can capture for some good XP, I think. Be a good way to test out our new spheres, too. So let's see if we can get them low. We've got this Dormantide saddle now, so we can control the abilities, and then once we do that, we can hop right off, and then he should do the abilities again, because they have separate cooldowns. We just don't want to overkill. So we need to be a little careful here. Uh, yikes. Yeah, I really don't want to overkill him. Hopefully the gun doesn't do that much. 168. Oops, that's a bad shot. Uh, two. And do one more. I can probably do one more. I don't think I'm doing 200. Good. Alright, so let's see. That is 2%. Capture rate. And then Legendary Sphere. Ooh, 59. That's pretty good. Okay, amazing. It's just with how expensive they kind of are to make. Um, <laughs> if, I, if I have to spend like five or ten spheres capturing something because I get unlucky, it's going to hurt real bad. But if I can get it in one sphere, man, I mean, that's huge. And those are the best odds we're going to get outside of like using shock weapons to like stun things. Um, to increase our odds or like freezing them or that kind of stuff. And um, yeah, we have pretty good production going. It's just going to take some time for all the pal metal to cook. Um, but we have a good amount of cement. We're, we're working on the carbon fiber. I can always just go farm some more pal fluids, make more cement. I mean, most of the things that we need are, uh, are already made or able to be made. It's just going to take the time. So while we are out and about, all that stuff should be cooking. And then we should be able to go back and make even more spheres. So let me pull up the map real quick. Because I don't know where the... Am I not? Oh, I'm not in the right area. It's here. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to quickly, I noticed this little unexplored area here, so I'm just going to take a peek, make sure there wasn't anything crazy that I was missing over here, which I highly doubt, but... Yeah. Nothing over here. Uh, I'm just going to go to that fast travel, I guess, to get back. Grab the skill fruit. And yeah, we're looking for seed burst, I think is what it's called. Get a couple of those, maybe. 
Um, seems like a very, very good ability for fighting bosses. I'll take these guys out, just grab some fluids since they're right in front of my face. I need fluids for cement. There we go. One, two, three. Okay, no lucky drops, but it's uh, three more cement than we had before, basically. Well, 30 more, I guess. It would be nice if I was one-shotting these. Feels kind of bad wasting this ammo. I could just use the PAL, but this ability tends to miss a lot, so. There we go. Maybe this will do it. Oh, so close. All right, come on, Sand Tornado. Don't let me down. It let me down. God damn it. I don't want to waste another, another shot. Alright, that's fine. Okay, god, look at them all, man. There's so many freaking things here. I mean, you could just come here and farm. You get, like, infinite PAL fluids with how many of these things spawn. It's crazy. Uh, but we're not going to do that now. We're going to go back here. And then we just fly up, I think, to where the skill fruit is, I think is the, the idea here. Let's get on and make sure we're facing the right way. Yep, it's right up there. You can see the tree. So they respawn every, like, couple of in-game days. I don't know how many. One, two, three in-game days. So it's better to just grab them now and then go do other stuff and then we can come back and try again later to get the thing. It's one of these green fruits that we're looking for, and it is only uncommon, so I could probably find one. What did that say? Oh. Wind cutter. That's not what we want. Uh, spark Blast, I think, might be good. I'm just gonna... Oh, Jesus. Get back on the bird. I'm just gonna grab them all and then let them respawn into something else. So, that's the first skill tree. Uh, the next one that would be easy to get to would be over in the middle here. So, I mean, we could literally almost just fly over our Ragnarok. Is so quick. I'm not sure how much quicker it even is to go to the fast travel point. It's probably a little bit quicker, though, so... Let's go down. It's actually better if I just run out of stamina, because then I can just plummet out of the sky, like this. <laughs> which is quicker than holding control to go down, which is kind of weird. You would think I could just, like, stop flying and then plummet from the sky whenever I want, but apparently not. Um, hopefully this base has been working well. Uh, maybe? There they go, kind of. Because this is the iron that we need to make the pal metal. So, hopefully they're doing their thing here, and we can use that as a staging point to get up to the tree, which is somewhere up here. I just saw Joltogs. I'm pretty sure I have ten Joltogs. Uh, something is happening around me, but yeah, we do have ten Joltogs. I'm pretty sure I got all, like, the low-level stuff that I can get ten of for max XP. Now, Mamorest, I don't have ten of yet, and that could be good XP, so I'll try that real quick with the new awesome spheres. Uh, don't kill him, bird. Call the bird back. I don't even want to risk it. I'll just do the work here. Don't... Okay, careful with the crits. Uh, I'm actually afraid of overkilling, so we'll just go bow. Oh, there's a dude... A dude man guy that's gonna mess with what I'm trying to do here. Uh, one more, maybe? Sure. Uh, yep, not gonna worry about that sphere. It has 0 0.6. Legendary sphere. Ooh, 89. Let me just be very careful not to miss. And then, if we get lucky and can get it on one sphere, we'll be super happy. And if we don't, we'll punch our thousand dollar monitor. <laughs> okay, good. Glad I didn't come to that. Um, alright, so this does not look like it has the fruit that I'm looking for here, but... I think it's just random what, what fruits are on which trees. Uh, so I'll grab those now. Incineram. Why is it not giving me this? My inventory full? No. I don't think I have ten Incinerams, actually. Jesus, why is this so difficult? There we go. Now let's see before I waste any spheres. I can just use regular spheres on those, I think. Where is he at? Incineram? Oh god, I only have one. So that could be really good XP there. Let's call back the Ragnarok. And then I'm not even gonna try the, the gun on this guy. I don't wanna overkill. Wait, where the hell did he go? Where the hell did he go? Frick. Okay, well, I guess never mind. Um, level 10 ones of those would be super good XP, though, because they'd be so easy to capture. Otherwise, I know there's, like, level 20, 30 ones in the volcano zone, but... Uh, what is that? That's just a chest. I've just been ignoring them. It's like you get almost nothing from them at this point, but... I can maybe sell some of the rubies and stuff. Anyway, let's look for the next skill fruit. That's what we're trying to be doing here. Uh, so there's another one down here, right by that fast travel. 
I think we'll just make a little beeline for it. Okay, down we go. Oh, good view from up here. And we'll plummet, because we have to go down anyway, so that works out. There's no fast travel. Like, eh, I think it's just quicker to fly straight there at this point. Down we go. Yeah, so I checked all my skill fruits. I don't have any of the seed mine, I think it's called. But if I could just get at least one, I'd be happy to try it out. And then if it's that good, I, I can teach it to almost any pal, I think. So I can go farm more, but... I want to get at least one just to test it out. Not even sure who I'm going to teach it to, but... I was thinking the Jormantide, but I do like his other abilities that he currently has. So I'll have to, I'll have to think it through. Uh, where are we going? Right there. Okay. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Birds and trees. Not a good mix, apparently. Who would have thunk? So it should be... Yep, right there. Cool. Hoping to just snag one quickly and then go back to XP farming, because... I don't want to spend all day just flying from fruit to fruit, but... I want to get one of the ones that I want, so... Uh, nothing here. Nothing here that I could get XP from. Uh, nope. Once again, no green fruit, so I know that it's not any of these. I think Ignis Blast is a good one, too, so I might try that at some point. Oh, come on. Jesus. Does my, does my Dramatite already know Ignis Blast? Is that an ability that I'm familiar with? Uh, no, Ignis Breath. Okay. Interesting. Um, alright, well, let's figure out where the next fruit is. There's one just north of us. Right about here somewhere. Let me make sure. Yeah, it's just right there. So, that is not very far away. We will aim north. Go straight north. And I'm just hoping, I, I'm, I'm already, already thinking that, like, for the last, certainly for the last boss, if not the last two bosses, I will most likely need to be level 50 and have some, like, really good trained, probably bred pals with, like, good abilities and good skills, because they seem really tough, the last couple bosses, but I'm hoping at level 45 at least I could take out the next one. I do have 10 of those, that's what I was checking. Um, but, yeah trying to get the thousand gamer score and finish up this playthrough sooner rather than later because there's a new game coming out uh, that I'm going to be playing and nobody really watches these playthroughs anyways and as much as I enjoy making them um, it's kind of a waste of my time in that regard although I do enjoy it but if I was playing it solely for enjoyment I would be taking my time with it a lot more than I am but okay I have 10 of those too but I realize that me taking my time is probably not the most exciting footage, so I'm just trying to rush through and get to the get to the things that people might want to see, such as like the bosses and the end game gear and that kind of stuff. So here we are doing that. Uh, ooh, there's a green one, kind of green. Is that? Uh, I was gonna say power bomb. That's not what we want. Um, all right. So to the next tree. I guess up here right about there so we go to this fast travel and then jump on over again just hoping I can find one quickly damn it that's so annoying your stamina doesn't replenish while you're free falling just kind of annoying I could use high quality pal oil too from killing those guys and there's you know there's so many of them how hard could it be to just quickly blow these up Oh my god. Pretty hard if I miss all my shots, that's for sure. Get that one, get that one, boom boom. Grab the oils. Oh my god, that guy dropped four. That's wild. So that's good. This dude's hungry, that happens a lot. I'm just gonna feed him this stuff. Rather than have him eat all my berries. And, go up here. And the tree is actually like right next to this fast travel point, which is pretty convenient. So, whoops, that is not a flying mount. Be crazy if he could fly, though. Could you imagine? Um, Jesus, hitting all the wrong buttons. I'm slide my keyboard. Slide my key. 
board over, so we're not doing that. Okay. So, must be right up here, I guess. What is that weird box right there? Just a graphical bug, I think. Am I looking at the right thing here? Yes. It's, I think it must be up at the tip of that, basically, so... Uh, gonna have to... Let's stop here for stamina, because I'm gonna have to... Stop at some point. And up we go. Again. Ragnarok doing his best. Okay, doing his best to randomly cast an ability and drain his stamina so that I have to stop again. <laughs> Alrighty. Alright, come on. Let's go. Up we go. Alright. Tree should be... There. Dope. Uh, not seen a green one again, though, so... Shame. Lock on laser, though. I hear that's an okay one. Um, alright, there's another fruit tree right in the middle there, so that should be easy to get to, and then we can go drop these other fruits off at base. I have that large storage, I think. I could just dump all these in. And then worry about sorting through them later. Um, so yeah, I'll go do this one real quick, and then it's right next to the fast travel too, which is nice. We can go back to base, and then we can fast travel to the next one. Um, okay, so where exactly is it? I think it was just south here, just across the thing. Oh, there it is down there, nice. Um, hmm. Again, not seeing any green ones, unfortunately. Stone Blast, which I think is a good one too. And Dragon Cannon, interesting. Yeah, so it's kind of a trade-off between, like, really high damage abilities with low cooldowns, or, like, long cooldowns, and then ones that don't do as much damage but have a short cooldown, so that leads to, like, more damage per second. So, sometimes it's going to be worth just having, like, the really long cooldown ones to do a big hit of damage, and then just swapping your pal out and waiting for the cooldown, versus, like, having some lower cooldown abilities to, like, mix in. So, I'll go through later, and we'll figure out if any of these are worth using. Um, yeah, that's Wind Cutter. That's not what I'm looking for. Unfortunate. Okay, let's see where the next one might be. That would be easy to get to. Uh, that's going to depend on where the fast travel is. There's one here, and there's one there. So let me try to go to the one that's closer to the fast travel first. Whoops. Hello. There we go. Drag the map. I'll check these two. I really thought we would find one very quickly. <laughs> At this point, we're like halfway through all the possible fruit trees that are on the map. And we haven't found one yet, so hopefully we find one soon. Uh, there's the tree. Just run out of stamina to get down. That seems to be the play. Hope that Gora Cat leaves me alone. Oh? No. Nope. Not any of the ones I'm looking for. Sandblast, power bomb, lightning streak. Okay. Now I gotta fly back up to our fast travel point. I finished, yeah, I finished the moss sandas. I got 10 of those. I see Eliza bees, the other thing in this area that I could use 10 of potentially. This thing, yeah, Bristle I have 10 of, Robin Quill I have 10 of, Gale Quill I have 10 of. Cinemoth I have 10 of, Floppy I have 10 of. So nothing good for experience here. It is about to be nighttime though, and I could potentially go catch some of those like Hell's, Hell Zephyrs and stuff that I know I don't have 10 of, or the cat, whatever cat thingamajiggies. Um, actually, it's almost quicker to just fly from where I'm at, to be honest, but we'll go to this fast travel. Grab this free ball, free sphere. Uh, it's right on the tip of that icy thing. So, just over here. It probably would have just been quicker to fly from where I was, to be honest, but... Let's head this way some more. And hopefully with it being nighttime, maybe like Grintails, Katniss, and uh, Hell Zephyr are all things that I think should give experience still. Wait, where are we even looking? Okay, good, we are looking the right way. Good. So it should be just up here somewhere. Look at the weird squares I got on top of the trees. Some type of graphical bug until, like, I get close enough to render distance. Um, should be right here. I think they're easy to spot at night, too, the trees. Yeah, I see they glow like that. So that's kind of cool. 
Uh, okay. Still no seed mine. Unfortunate. So, which ones haven't we been to yet? There's two in the volcano area. There's like three over here. Wow, I'm really like almost... There's not a lot of these trees. Next one would be just up here. So what's the quickest? I mean, the quickest way would just be to suicide and then go back to camp. Just use the respawn button to get back to camp immediately and then fast travel from there. So why don't I just do that? Let me see what's going on over here, though. I was just cinemoths and stuff. Um, yeah, yeah, fine. Let's just do that. Respawn. It just weirds me out dying and respawning. I always feel like something's gonna bug out for some reason, so... Okay. Respawn. At the base. That was not quite at the base, was it? Nope. That's okay, because I can just fast travel right here. And... Let me just go here and see if there's any, like, Katniss or Hell Zephyrs that I can just grab real quick. If it's gonna be nighttime. Uh, yep, there you go. There's the Catrice. What was I saying? Katniss, I think. Oh, shoot. A horrible shot. There we go. Call back the Bergs. We don't want to overkill. Hopefully a crit doesn't kill her. Uh, I want to get her as low as possible because I don't want to waste my good sphere and not get the capture. Um, I wonder... Eh, yeah, that's not going to cut it. The regular sphere is not even close to being good enough. So unless I get super lucky, which I don't, go with this one, which, I mean, 97%. Come on, you got to give me that. And that is why those spheres are worth it, even though they are a pain to make. So... Uh, two more cat catrus would be cool, and then I think I only have two hell zephyrs. So, if we see some big blue, yep, big blue thing in the sky. Oh no! Of course he's over. What? No, no, no! Don't go over there, dude. Don't even engage. Come this way and stay away from whatever the hell that is. Oh Jesus! I gotta be careful about overkilling him, and I gotta make sure that those other guys don't shoot the hell out of him too before I can get him. Uh, yeesh, I'm afraid of hitting him again. Okay, can't miss the sphere though. There we go. Come on. Give me that. Nice. Alright, that's three. Can I mount? Oh shit. Can I mount the Ragnarok from in the water? Oh, you can. Nice. Alright, so again, these guys just <laughs> fighting amongst each other? Uh, I guess so. Uh, Catrus. Did I? I think I needed a Cognito too. Did I need one more Cognito? Well, there's a, there's a Catrus and two Hell Zephyrs. All right, we're doing we're doing this for sure. This is good XP. Start with the Catrus. One more shouldn't kill, especially if it doesn't crit. Good. Let me go with bow. One more non-crit, and then legendary spear. Yes, please. Hell Zephyr. Let's get ready to do that. Hope those other guys stay away. A quick reload in and dodge this very slow-moving, terrifying ball. There we go. Need to get him a little bit lower. Uh, I can't even see his health. Okay, I can hit him a couple more times. Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. A little lower. Oh, he died. Damn it. Did he get shot by these guys? Yep. They're fucking with me. At least there's two more. The hell was that ice attack? Oh, a loop moon? Okay, they just all went to sleep randomly. That's interesting. Uh, I'll try to get this guy. I'm gonna need this loop moon out of the picture, I think. I don't want any incidental damage on the hells ever. Go. Oh god. Oh god. There's another loop moon. Oh god. I just want to get him as low as possible. Because I don't want to miff my chances of catching it with this really expensive sphere. Okay, nice. And then there was another one over there, too. Loop moon, can you bugger off, please? You, don't, you know you don't stand a chance. I mean, what are you even doing, man? I respect it, but I'm also annoyed by it. <laughs> Alright, so we only needed one more Catrice. Let's get this one, and then we can be done with them, and then hopefully I can get that other Hell Zephyr before he goes away. Because it's about to be daytime. Okay. Go with the bow. Ouch, ouch. Okay, and one more little non crit maybe? Yep. Yeah. Now let's just do it. Nice. 10 out of 10 Catrice. Almost halfway to 45. Now, where did that Hell Zephyr go? There it is. Let's get it. 
going. Nice. Alright, one more, one more shot, maybe. Yep. Could probably do one more, but I'm not gonna risk it. Go with the spear. And please be good. Nice. I think. Hopefully. Yeah. Okay, there's a grim tail. Oh shit. No no no. Stop it. No, stop it. Okay, that actually kinda worked out. Let's call him back though. And then I don't even want to use the gun because I don't want to overkill. Whoa, he's a jumpy boy. These things are sick. They're crazy, creepy looking things. I need to get lower. Much lower. It's going to take 10,000 years. Uh, now I'm afraid of going any lower than that. Let's go lucky. Legendary sphere. Please. Nice. Okay. Five of them. It's another nighttime only thing as far as I know, so that's good. Not expecting to really see anything else out here. I thought that was maybe another Hell Zephyr. Um, what is that? That's not a tree, is it? No, that's the fast travel point. Um, okay, it's going to be daytime soon anyway, so let's just go right on back to the, the fruit farming here. Alright, so let's see where the next one we're going to go to is. It is... Oh, yeah, that's right. This one kind of near here. Alright, still nighttime, too, so I may find one or two other things up in this area that I haven't captured ten of yet, but... Um, I think the fruit tree is kind of right over here. Maybe? I should probably double-check. Give me one second, make sure I'm going the right way. Yeah, so it's, uh, yeah, it should be right in front of us, honestly. Like right here? There's a bee guard that's, oh, Eliza bee, we need Eliza bee, that's cool. Oh, and there's a green one. Oh, that was blue, never mind. Damn, so I'm really getting unlucky with these. Uh, I'm gonna go for this Eliza bee. Okay, I gotta be careful, I gotta be careful those bee guards exploding too. Uh, I can shoot them in the face and then that'll stop their explosion, but... Let's go. Okay, one more non-crit, please. Oh my gosh, she's so low. Holy crap. Legendary sphere. Yeah. Boom. And just ignore the bee guards. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Okay. Nice. Alright, so I only need two more Eliza bees now. Um, let me figure out where the next fruit is, though. Uh, okay. There's one over there. In this... Kind of like volcano-ish area, whatever you call, like right there. So my base is right here. I could just use my base as a fast travel point. Should probably, whoa. Should probably uh, queue up some refined ingots while I'm here too. Lord only knows how much they've gathered since I've been here last. I'm going to guess it's not a lot because this base just doesn't seem to be very efficient for some reason. But let's see what we can do. Okay, wow, look, they've actually been doing work. It's because I haven't been here in like 10 years, but that's good. We'll use those ingots to make um, our new ammo for our new gun when we get that, so that's good. And then, basically need to go like right here, which I guess we'll just fast travel here. Although I thought there was maybe another, no, that's not it, okay. So now I'm getting worried that we're even going to find one of these at all. Uh, one of these fruits, but I guess it's all the more reason that I'm glad I'm doing it now, because we'll need to wait several in-game days for them to respawn and tr check again, so. Let's see. I should probably be able to see it from about up here. I'll wait for the stamina before I hop off. There we go. Um. Do we see a glowy tree? Might need to double check the map to see the exact location. Oh no, I'm way at the north. It, it's way to the south. I also need to finish exploring this little last area. I should probably just do that while I'm right here, to be honest, but... It's gonna be kind of stupid to do it this way, but I'll fly down and get the fruit. And then fly back and finish exploring this area. Which is kind of silly. To fly back and then fly again, but it shouldn't take that much longer. There's the tree. 
Oh, another Eliza V2, which we definitely need for experience. 11 damage, what the hell? Oof, okay. We made it all up with that other shot. Please non-crit, good. And then don't miss this, wonderful. Ah, damn it, it's my first time. I, I've been hesitating to say anything. Oh, she deflected one. Oh god, and I thought that one missed. If I spent three spheres on that, I would have been pissed. Well, I just did, because it broke out again. So, Jesus. Oh, come on, these things were so hard to make. Just please get in. Oh god, I almost got another one deflected, too. Okay. Good. Nine out of ten, so we just need one more for experience. And, ah, spine vine. Saw a green one, got excited. Thought maybe it was the thing that I needed, but alas, it is not. Alright, so, I'm gonna fly up and explore this other little area, and then there's a few more fruits, but they're all in, like, the desert, the volcano, or the, uh, whatchamacallit area? Ice? Tundra? So that's gonna be a little tricky. Um, I could use Wixens for experience. I think this is gonna kill it. Okay, no. Good thing I didn't crit. And we'll go... Legendary, 99%. Wow. Nice. That's six. I see number seven over there. Let's reload. Let's go for non-crit or else it's gonna kill it. Why have we not reloaded? There we go. Okay. Get it a little bit lower without killing it. And legendary. I might actually be overkill using these legendary spheres because that's pretty low capture rate. Or pretty high capture rate. Pretty low chance to break out. Um, we're up to seven of those, which is good. I know we have ten of all this other stuff in here. Let's get this wix in too. I'm not even going to bother using the gun because if I crit it, then it's dead. God, this bow takes forever though. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Don't die to a level 17 wix in me. Gotta fly. Don't kill it. I mean, just, just out of curiosity. Even that's not a bad capture. I'm just gonna do that and try to save a... Save a legendary sphere. Can use these green ones that I've been picking up on the ground. Yeah, I mean, I shouldn't have wasted the legendary spheres on these at, at that percentage. There we go. Two more if we see them. There's one. Be very happy to just get ten and be done. Never have to catch another one again. I see two of them right here, so... Uh, you know what? Let me try... Getting greedy, trying to save time, and I'm probably going to regret it. Okay, good. Didn't crit. Love to see it. Yeah, where's the other one? Where the hell did it go? There it is. This one I'm just going to bow. Listening to the left. Okay, we got it. Nice. Jesus. Uh, one more, maybe. Uh, I should probably do one more, but... I'm just using the cheap spheres anyway, so screw it. Oh, come on. Don't miss, though. Oh, my God. Jesus. What a waste. One more. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What did I miss? Four shots on that? That's really, really embarrassing. And a waste of resources. Holy crap. I'll just go with the regular cheap spheres. I can miss as many of these as I want. I still don't want to, but it feels a lot better than... A lot less worse, I should say, than missing the ones that I don't have so many of. Okay, that should be good. 10 out of 10, beautiful. Halfway to 45. I want to make that gun this section, so... Um, let's do a little loop up here and explore this new area that we haven't quite been to. Let's see what there is. I kind of doubt there's anything unique up here. Maybe there's like an alpha that I haven't found. Which could be really good experience too, but um, just want to kind of fill in the map a little bit anyway, so we know what is up here. Maybe find a new fast travel or something too. Um, and then we'll need to go check out those last few fruits, which are quite far away in that desert area where I burn to death constantly. I don't know why the PAL team is hungry. I don't have anything special to feed them either. I'll just have to, whoops, just spam some berries on them. That's fine. God, inventory's almost full, too, so I'll probably need to stop back at base. Now, this thing I don't have 10 of at all, but it's level 41. And even with the legendary sphere, I'm a little worried that it's... Like, I don't want to waste too many of my spheres on that. So, still going to be aiming for slightly lower level stuff to 
capture 10 of before I start worrying about having to capture like level 40 plus stuff, but check out this last little area here. Going around the top. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. Oh, there's a nice little fast travel there. I should probably just grab. Let me just look up here first. Let's see if there's anything. Nope, not particularly. Now we'll grab that fast travel so we have nice easy access to this area again in the future. Just gonna double check and then we're gonna go for it. Could be some cool stuff to capture in here, but again, I think it's all like level 40 or higher and just not really worth the spheres at this point. When there's other options, I think the next area is going to be that volcano area. There's like level 20 to 30 things in that area, which are better than level 40 plus things, so. Uh, grab this fast travel, just take a quick peek. Is there anything cool in here? No, also I'm burning, so <laughs> should get off here. Riding a firebird in, in the desert just seems like a bad combination. What am I hearing? The faint noise of a pal somewhere. Oh well, it's gone now. Alright. Keep moving along. Really seems like there's nothing over here. I mean, there's a lot of, like, chests and random stuff, but... No pals at all back here. It's kind of strange. Yeah, see another chest down there. A lot of a lot of chests on these ledges, which I don't really think are worth going for at this point. I haven't gotten much from them. There may be like some rare recipes or something that are worth getting, but I think most of what I want to get actually comes from alpha bosses. The recipes, like the legendary recipes, is a pretty low drop chance though, from what I've heard. So I have to get, have to get very lucky to get one of those. This looks like something here, but again, nothing. Seems like we could put a boss or something. Oh god, okay. <laughs> Jesus. Oh lord. Uh, nothing down there. Yeah, there's really nothing back here. I'm just gonna grab this one effigy because it's right in my face. I'm already at the rank 10 capture power, but maybe later I'll have some use for them. Oh, that looks like an alpha Eliza B? No? Just, that's a regular Eliza B? Why does this look so big? I guess that's just how big they are. Um, we needed one more, right? I really hope we needed one more. Pretty sure we needed one more. Otherwise, this is a huge waste of spheres. Nice. 10 out of 10. So we are done with that one, too. Which is awesome, because it means we got a lot of experience, but it's also kind of sad because we are really running out of, like, low-level things to capture for experience at this point. Uh, and that's a full loop of this area, so that's all explored now. So there's this other area up in there that I think has a lot of good stuff in it, but I think that's kind of like level 30-ish. Which is not really where we want to be either. Uh, let me take a look again at those fruits. Um, yeah... I guess the two in the volcano area are going to be the easiest to go for at this point. There's one kind of right up there. In the desert, it looks like it's close, but could be kind of tricky to get to. Given... Oh God, I'm not going to run out of stamina before I make it. Uh, given how hot it is in the desert, and that the desert's actually quite large. No, oh, please make it to this ledge. Okay, good. Just get my stamina up here. And then go up the rest of the way. There we go. Yeah, there's no fruits up here, so... Aside from looking for pals to capture, there's really nothing to do in this area. I've been meaning to explore it, though, and we are right here. There's a dungeon that might be good. Weird how few pals there are here, too. Maybe these guys took them all out. Uh, there's pangolets here, I know. I think there's chillets here, too. I think we got ten chillets in that other zone, though, that other ice zone. This one's level 39, anyway, so I wouldn't even bother with that. Uh, there's another mammarest, though, which I still need mammarests. And they don't really come at a lower level, so I think I'll grab that. 
Let's go with the gun. Oh god. I'm just terrified when they look at me. Oh, this is a big boy, holy cow. Still, I found a lucky Mamorest at level like 44. Back when I was like level 20 something and I couldn't capture it. I still envy that I rue the day I wasn't able to capture him. Oh my god, come on. There we go. Uh, come on, let's go, please. 70%. Uh, uh. Okay, that's gotta be good, right? Nice. Let's up to seven of those. We're almost done with them. Oh, inventory full. That's right. Uh oh. How are we doing filling in this area? We're doing all right. I'll go up to the edge of the ice, I guess. Um, I really just want to head back and clear out my inventory at this point, though. Oh, and there's crystals down there. Quartz. Which I'm probably gonna need for something soon, but I guess I could just quickly head out and... Grab some when I need them, rather than try to get them now. Yes, yeah, so this is all, like, the icy area, basically. Yeah, a lot of quartz. There you go. No pals. I don't know what the heck this whole area is, too, with all these weird structures. It seems like they wanted to do something with it. What is that? Is there not a, there's not a sealed realm here? Please make this bird. Okay, good. There's just four random chests up here? I mean, that's kind of cool. And a random rain drinks. Although with my inventory being full. Uh... Oh, the fruit stack. That's kind of good to know, actually, because I could save some space at camp with that. Why don't I eat the bread? Um, and see what I can loot from these. Oh, gold key. These all take gold keys? No, just that one. Inventory full, so I'm not really even getting anything. That takes gold key. Wow, I didn't even know there were gold keys. I've only been up to silver at this point. Um, oh god, there was a fast travel right there, so we'll use that fast travel to get back to base then. Let me just finish filling in this last little bit of the map, though. I actually kind of don't want to plummet from here, but we don't have a choice. Because we're not going to make that ledge, so... Oh, whoops. Yeah, I don't know what the heck is in this area. Just dudes? Dudes and men and boys and things? It's kind of weird. Doesn't it seem like it should be something? Like, like a dungeon that, or something? I don't know. It just seems like it should be something. And it's not. It's just an area with random nothingness in it. Alright, we'll go back to that fast travel point. Empty out our inventory, grab the last fruit... Fru fruits? Jesus, speaking is hard. Last few fruits. See if we can get that good ability that we wanted. And then... We're gonna have to find something to just farm up to level 45 from capturing. And then we can make the new gun, uh, stockpile a bunch of spheres... And then, hopefully in the next section, I think we're going to try the boss again. Um, I'm just going to need... I'm going to need that fruit, is the thing. So, I might have to do another round if we don't get it from one of these next few trees here. God, I'm getting stuck on everything. Alright. Up we go to the skies. That's the start of the ice area, so I'm definitely not, not going to want to go in there. Wow, that looks really cool, though. This looks like a big-ass dungeon there. What the hell is that? That must be a cave entrance. Hmm. I guess there's these, like, mineshaft dungeon kind of things that could have, like, really strong bosses in them that have a chance of dropping really good blueprints. So. Maybe that's what that is. Don't need to chill it. Just want to get to the fast travel. And on the way, check what might be in this area. Life one effigy that we don't need. Get stuck on a tree. What else is new? Uh, just skirting the edge of the ice area. Looking for any little hidden treasures up here. Anything cool. Doesn't look like it. So, why don't I just go to the edge, fill this area in so I don't have to ever come back since there's nothing up here? 
Interesting. Oh, it's ice. It looked like a weird color blue for a second. I thought it was like a little frozen river would have been kind of cool. Just cosmetically. And this looks like the edge of the world here. Oh, yeah. Okay, don't want to fall down there because I will not be able to fly back up very easily if I fall down into the ocean there. Yeah, that's pretty much it, so. That's the desert. Big ass desert area. That's the other ice mountain. That we've already explored. That's where we just we flew around that, that perimeter there. There's that spiky area that we were looking at a little while ago. Um, our socks. Not useful. Okay. I mean, yeah, that's it. So, Oh, there's one more mammarest. I guess I could just grab that real quick. And then we'll be almost at ten mammarests. Oh boy. Scary man. Shoot him in the butthole. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Shoot it already. Shoot it so I can dodge it. My lord. It's gonna take a while. Oh yeah. Just stay right there, buddy. It's perfect. I don't know what's going on with you, but I'm okay with it. Uh, one more. Yep. Good. And then we go legendary. Boom. Hope we get lucky. Please. Fuck. It's because I hit two. And I switched my sphere away at the last second. Because I thought it was going to work. And the game was like, nope. Just despite you, we're going to make it not work now. Okay, dope. Wow, we're getting 16,000 experience. Basically, that's really good. Uh, Caprities we're done with. We don't need them. Uh, ooh. Malchrist we do, though. Let's see. Uh, let's call back the bird. Let's try the gun. Okay, that's good. Whoops. I'm gonna take a second here. Uh, okay, good. Crit would have probably killed it there, so. And. Wonderful. That's gotta work, right? Nice. Okay, cool. So I'm just gonna go clear out the inventory real quick, and then we'll grab those last few fruit, fruit trees, and then. We'll get level 45 and make the gun. And in order to get level 45 and make the gun, we're going to need a few more spheres, I think. So um, here's what I'm going to do. Going to... What are we short? Yeah, pal metal. That's what I figured. So hopefully somebody was cooking. I'm going to be real sad if... Okay, there's 90. That's good. Oh, inventory's full. I don't need handgun ammo, just get rid of that. Grab the ingots. What happened? Why am I not acquiring it? Did it bug out because I tried to loot it with a full inventory? There's no way that that's like a thing. I'm very confused, but I'll go check that in a second. Um, what I'm gonna do is just drop all the fruits in there. Oh god. Of course it's full of all this other stuff. Because the fruits do stack. So I can pull all the other fruits I have out of these other chests, too. And then... I can't acquire it. I guess it bugged out, because I tried to loot it with a full inventory. That's my only guess. I hope it's not bugged out permanently, because that's a lot of ingots that I could really use. So let's just do this real quick. This should save. Go to the title and just load back up. I hear my computer fans sound like a jet engine as it loads the world all at once. Okay. Yep. Big old jet engine. And? Okay, good, thank god. Uh, I'm a little heavy, but... That's okay. And we'll queue up. Jeez, that's still only 18. We're gonna need so many ingots. Um, but what we can do is throw our Anubis on it. And he'll make those while I do a little bit of inventory management here. So I'm just going to take all these fruits out, and all these slots I know are just going to get filled up with random junk that my pals, my transport pals, end up throwing in there anyway. But hopefully I can at least have all the fruits in one place, which should help when it's time to try to figure out what fruits are good and whatnot. 
So this will just be my fruit chest. Uh, I got more fruits in here. One more there. None in there. One more in there. Okay, cool. Alright, and then I think what I'm gonna do too, which I've been meaning to do for a real long time, this probably isn't gonna work the best, but if I could do a little condensing here, yeah, like those stones and stuff, like, it's just gonna get refilled by the pals that randomly decide to transport like random ass stones that are on the ground. But, oh, there's another fruit there. Oh, there's another couple fruit there, Jesus. But some things that aren't naturally on the ground in this base, like iron, sulfur coal, polymer cloth. Why don't I do, like, kind of advanced resources in this chest here? Get the stone out. Leather is not going to go in there. Um... See what I mean? Like, there's stone. Like, every one of my chests has, like, stone in it taking up space. Which is so stupid. Which is kind of unavoidable, but other things, I'm thinking, like, the organs and stuff that I don't generate in this base. I could condense. Yeah, I have cement in this chest and iron. And wool, and I'm pretty sure there's wool in this one, too. I don't know, there's cloth in that one. Anyway, whatever. It's a mess, but it's maybe a little bit less of a mess now. I don't know if that helped at all. Um, and let me double check on the cake thing, too, that I was talking about before. How many can we make now? Oh, yeah, 15. Beautiful. So I'll just go ahead and do that, and then we'll be done with, like, cakes for breeding. Uh, if I can find a spot to loot this charcoal, that'd be wonderful. And then it's going to be real slow, but hopefully get it over here. Nice. Get that in there, and then we can turn that into more carbon fiber, which will be nice too. Why are you even mining this, dude? This rock needs to not exist. That's what we're gonna do. It's about time that happened too, so. Let's do that, and then can I just make like a... Yeah, I'm gonna need to learn it probably, let's see. Like a sign? And then that should, hopefully prevent that rock from respawning. If I just literally throw a random ass sign there. Same with, um, I thought there was another rock node, but it looks like that one's not respawning now, so that's good. I should do the same thing with the trees too, just so that the, anybody who happens to have the lumbering skill doesn't get distracted. Um, good amount of wood built up in here. Let's acquire that. Let's do the same with the stone. And then queue up some more charcoal and paldium. That's a lot of stone, wow. Which is good, we're gonna need it all for Paldium, for sure. Whoops. Let's go. Right about there. Wonderful. And, take out the Paldium, and queue up a bunch more. God, it's taking forever. Alright, that's good enough for now. Put the rest in there. Wonderful. Uh, keep up some more charcoal. And here. Oh, not as much wood as I thought with all these extra woodcutters that I assigned, but it's okay. I'll just do like the majority of it, I guess. Um, and then here we can make our carbon fiber now that we're gonna need. Just I'll save some because I need some to make gunpowder at some point. So that's fine. Grab our spheres that we're going to use to get our last little levels here. Go ahead and make, what, two more, I guess? There we go. Boom, boom. And then I will toss my Anubis onto the carbon fiber. I guess I could help. I just like to stand here and watch them do it. it. Really, I mean, it might save like two seconds. I mean, my work speed is just so slow compared to his. Um, I'm just gonna throw him here real quick, at least to start on the carbon fiber, because we're gonna need that. I need, I need a lot of gunpowder too to make these new bullets once I get this new gun. So maybe I should kind of preempt that. Oh, I need sulfur. 
but that's okay. And we're gonna do something pretty cool here, so... Um, okay. Let me sleep so that everybody wakes up and goes back to work during the day, and then we're gonna head out and do some, some cool stuff here, yeah. so... Okie doke. So, I'm hoping I have enough spheres on me for what I need to do. And then, we're gonna go to... Down, all the way down here. Oh, this is nice, actually. This fast travel's right near the tree. Because there's a tree here. I'm burning to death in the desert. Get my armor on. Good. Oops, not you. You. Um, and then we can get some sulfur here, because we're gonna need more gunpowder to make ammo for that new gun. And then, I think there's a bunch of pals here that I don't have ten of yet. Okay, so still no... Uh... Seed mine, whatever the hell it's called. God damn it, just give me the fruits. Holy crap. Did I get them all? I guess so. Okay. <laughs> Not letting me mount up now. There we go. Uh, there's one more fruit in the volcano y area here, and the other ones are in the desert, which are gonna be hard to get to. Okay, so yeah, so the other tree. Oh, what are these? Incinerams? Yes, I need them, but they're level 31. I think we can get some lower level ones, maybe. Um, go right here. The other tree is right near here. And then this area should have some slightly lower level things that I don't have ten of, so. Um, yeah. Where do we think this tree is, though? Should be somewhere right around here. Oh god, is it up on that ledge? Let me quickly reference the map and zoom in. Um, no, it looks like it's... Oh, it's over here, I see. Down in the courtyard, maybe? No, it, it might actually be up on this ledge. It's probably up on the ledge. That would make sense for there to be a tree up there. Not growing out of the stone down there, I would imagine. So, let's see. Is it right here? No? Am I losing my friggin' mind? Oh, no, it's way over here more. So, we'll go this way. Careful not to fall off the ledge in case it is up here. And... Round the corner and spot the tree... Yep, I see it. And there's the reptiles that are looking for to Damn, level 36. It's higher than I thought, but I know I've caught some of these before with, like, base spheres, so I'm hoping with the ultra sphere. Also, not to jinx it, but I see a green fruit on that one, which is awfully exciting. Uh, I'm afraid of overkill, so I'm going to go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Chill, my dude, chill. No pun intended with the fire damage, but holy crap. This guy's bonkers. Um, that's gonna have to be good. Uh, 79? Uh, that's not awful. Damn you. Really can't be burning through more than one sphere on each guy. Fuck. <laughs> that makes me sad. Oh, that makes me happy. That's seed mine. That's what we needed. Thank God. Uh, I might still go check those other trees just to see, because I, I might need more than one eventually. Um... And just to clear them out so they respawn and I can get other abilities too, because I might need to farm more of those to try to get the abilities that I actually want. But thank god we got one at least, so we'll be good to take on the boss next time. So let me move the map over to where the other undiscovered trees are, so maybe we do that at the end. But we're going to try to get level 45 now. So we got our seed mine fruit, that's huge. Um, yeah, that, that was a little bit worse than I thought. Taking three... Spheres. I won't be able to get level 45 at that rate, but I'll try again on this guy. Uh, this crit gonna kill him? Well, not if it misses, that's for sure. Okay, nice and low. Let's do a couple bow shots. Get him as low as I can. Whoa! Uh, 82. Please. Please? Plus? So yeah, we got a bunch of those that we can capture for 15, almost 16k a pop. Is this sulfur? That's the other thing I need. I'm gonna need to make a bunch of gunpowder to make the new ammo. I'm assuming... I have no reason to assume this other than just gamer instinct, I guess, but I'm kind of assuming that the assault rifle actually does less damage than the gun that I'm using right now, like per shot, but that it has a higher rate of fire, so it's more damage per second. Um, but that means that it's gonna take a lot more ammo, too, so... I really need to start stockpiling gunpowder. I have not been doing that, and... I just have a feeling it's going to take, like, hundreds of shots compared to, like, the 
you know, dozens of shots that the current gun takes for, like, a single boss fight. Um, so I'll have to see about that. That's a Ragnarok. Now, those I definitely don't have 10 of. It's also level 35, which is a little bit harder to capture, but I think this is kind of where we're at. <laughs> like, Jesus. At this point, I don't know how many more, like, low-level things there really are to even get, so... Go for the hawk. Don't overkill it. Get it really, really low. It's stuck in that tree. Okay, good. It's still kind of stuck in the tree, but... I'm just worried about this spear not connecting. Okay, now he's out in the open. Uh, that's probably as low as he's gonna go. 83. Not bad, not bad. Let's hop off the tree. Please, sir, please. I don't have spheres to spare. Okay, marvelous. Now, let's head back down here. Where's the next fast? The next fast travel is like... I'd have to fly all the way around. So I'm actually gonna travel down to here, this beach. I know it has like incinerams and stuff, which I thought were slightly lower level than the stuff around here. So we'll head back to the fast travel. Um... If we find anything else that we can capture here that we don't have 10 of, we'll grab it. But otherwise, when I go to that other area, I think it's a little bit lower. And I'm hoping I have just enough spheres to get me to level 45. And then it's just going to be going back to base, making the new stuff. And, um... I'll grab this, because it's, it's literally right in my face. Uh, making the new stuff and uh, making a bunch of spheres. So that next time we are, like, good to go. And we'll go do some bosses and stuff. Um... Not seeing anything. I'm not sure how those skill fruits work, too. I mean, I know you can teach it to a pal, and it gives you the option to replace one of its abilities, but then I don't know if you can then reteach that unlearned ability or not without a skill fruit. And I'll need to be careful about which ability I overwrite if that's the case. I may want to test it on, like, a throwaway pal, but then I would need more fruit to have one to teach to the actually good pal if that's what I end up wanting to do, but... Um, it's probably just going on, on Jormagunder or whatever. I think I keep his big ball attack, because he can do it, and then I can mount him, and then I can do it, and that's really good damage, doing it back-to-back -back twice. But then it has a super long cooldown, so... In between... I guess I could do Seed Bomb twice that way, too, then. And then it's just a question of, do I want the fire breath the electric attack for the other attack? And then I just swap them out and wait for the, all the cooldowns while I use another pal. And then let's go back to Jormagunder. Jormantide, rinse and repeat is basically going to be the strategy, but i um, going to need to find sulfur for gunpowder for bullets. Oh, it's a large ass egg. I think I'm going to grab that, actually. Is that huge? Yeah, it's huge. So that could be, uh, could be Ragnarok, could be Jormantide Ignis too, I think. It could be things that I don't quite have, um, 10 of. Also, I don't have 10 of these. I think it's terrifying looking, but let's try to get him. It's not actually that much of a lower level. Uh -huh. But hopefully we get some lucky captures here. All right. Uh, one more crit, one more crit. Yep, beautiful. Look how low he is, it's perfect. And then we do this. And we pray. Shit. Dude, I moved my hand on my keyboard over the 2 key and was like, wait, no, don't press it, because then the game is going to know, and it's going to spite you, and it's going to make him break out. But even just the act of moving my hand, the game knew that I thought it was going to capture. Okay, now I think it's not going to capture, and so it gets captured. Again, it's, the game always is the opposite of what you think. That's just, that's just life, man. <laughs> so, anyway, weird, weird superstitions when it comes to RNG and video games, I know, but I'll head up this way. I could probably just do a respawn to get back to camp, honestly, because there's, like, no fast travels anywhere up here. But there is a lot of sulfur, I believe. So I was kind of hoping to find more things in this beach area. I thought I found a bunch of incinerams down here before, but... We'll see what we see on the way up there. And then if nothing else, you know, there's, like, Ragnarok's and more Blaze Howls and all that kind of stuff up in this volcano area. And then at nighttime, there's, like, the Blaze Howl knocks and... All this other stuff, so... Let's reload our gun while we're thinking about it. And keep, keep moving here. That's an egg. I thought that was something, but it's not. Oh, another huge egg, though. I, I have three incubators now, so... I might as well just put the eggs in and let them hatch and get something from them. For some more experience. Uh, double incineram here. 
I'm a level 30 and 32. Let's go for both of them. It's gonna be a little tricky, honestly, to get them both low enough and not miss sphere shots while they're attacking the shit out of me, but... Okay, I need to get that one with bow. Stopped him in his tracks. Need a non-crit on him. Whoops, that's a crit. Oh well, it'll be easier to just capture one at a time. Uh, that's probably as low as I want to go. Whoa, that was crazy. Don't miss. Please, please, please. Oh no, oh no, I moved my hand. Okay, look, I moved my hand, so I thought it wasn't going to work, so it did work. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's always the opposite of what you think. You can't, can't have a positive thought in your head. That's not going to work. Oh, dude, I thought that was some kind of crazy new pal with their humanoids. I don't think those give a uh, capture bonus experience because they don't show up in the pal deck. I've never actually tried to capture a, a dude yet, but uh, and there's a Gobfin Ignis. That would be awesome. Slightly lower level, and I don't think I have any. Um, however, oh shit. I remember I found one with the gun. Or I found one and then I shot it with the gun and it got one shot. So, oh god, I'm on fire. I did, um... Let me deal with this first. Okay, he's actually kind of tanky, this one. Let me try the rifle. Go for a non-crit. Yeah, I feel like a crit might have been a little too much. Try for another non-crit? Okay, good. Now I can bomb down. And a couple more. Ah, that's good enough. And... 97. Oh, no! Oh, shit. Please capture him, at least. Okay, nice. I hope you still get experience when you're dead. Uh, whoops, that was not good. Yeah, so that lava does damage. I had, um, I'd been flying over it with the Ragnahawk and noticing it didn't do any damage, and I'm like, oh, it's, like, kind of cool. Um, would have been nice if the lava actually did damage for, like, immersion's sake, you know? But I'm not complaining that it doesn't, because that makes it a lot easier. Um, and it turns out it actually does do damage. It's just the Ragnahawk doesn't take fire damage, I guess. So, while I was flying over with the Ragnahawk, I wasn't taking damage. And I just assumed that that means lava doesn't do damage, which was a bad assumption because, as you can see there, the lava definitely does damage. Um, thankfully, we got that guy. Ooh, that's a new thing. A Lee's Punk Ignis, I think is what that is. Oh, and I do see the XP bonus in the bottom right there. It's, like, bugged because I was, like, dead when it happened. Oh, hey, come back, buddy. Where are you going? Um, but I'm assuming that gave me experience, so that's good. Go for this dude. Jesus, one more shot. Yeah, I don't want to go lower than that. Okay. Come on, 96%. Good, look at that. My jinx didn't happen for once, knock on wood. Uh, and let's see, okay, there's another blaze hell you could probably get. see. Wow, tanky boy. Beautiful. I'm kind of afraid to even do a bow shot. We'll just go with this. Whoa, whoa, what is that? Whoa. That was terrifying. Glad I canceled the attack by getting him in the sphere. Nice. Oh, we're so close, man. I think we have just enough spheres. Oh my god, a pack of Gobfin Ignises. That's gonna be really good XP. Gotta shoot them so that they come back and attack me and don't run too far away. Where's the other one? There we go. Uh, of course, three of them hitting me at once is also kind of terrifying in its own, right? Alright, gotta be a little careful here. Let's get this one low enough. to one at a time, kinda. That's gonna have to be fine. And then we'll go for this one. Oh, I see another one over there, too. This could do it if we're careful. Come on, a little bit lower. Yeah, the gun's gonna be too much, but this bow is taking forever. The bow's probably gonna break soon, too. Let's go for a non crit, and now let's just go for it. And that dude's just chilling, just me mugging me, giving me a dirty look. And now let's go for that one. Nice. And we'll go for this guy, too. Snipe him. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Uh, I don't even want to hit him again. Alright, don't move. Don't move. Okay, phew, that almost missed. I almost ended up going too low on that one. Nice. 
Yeah, we're getting real close now. I think the seven spheres should do it, assuming I don't have too many of them break out. Um, I need to find a bunch of sulfur, though. I'm gonna go for this sulfur. It's kind of risky. Given these dudes right here. Oh my god, he's a flamethrower, dude. That's terrifying. Uh oh, never mind. Ragnarok just freaking messed him up. Cool. Good job, homie. I gotta watch my weight, too. Because I've been sitting here playing this game too long. I'm getting fat. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, I'm just about to hit my character's weight cap. I'd like to get more sulfur and stuff, but... Oh my god, did this just spawn here? That's convenient. Getting low on ammo, too, so... Hopefully... We can get... F oh, call back the bird. No bird. No bird. Why you do this to me? And hopefully we can get the level up before we run out of ammo, and then we'll just use the new gun. Nice. And I'm just gonna go for it. Could've used a bow shot to get him a little bit lower, but... Yeah. Come on. Nice. Okay. Only two more of those. Oh, and there's more Lee's Punk, too? I gotta remember to come back here and... get these Lee's Punks and... Incinerams and Blaze Hells and all these things that I don't have ten of yet. That's probably how I'm gonna get the next level. Okay, perfect. Didn't kill it. Hit it. And... No look fly away capture, because we believe. And I get two more here. That should do it, man. If I can capture both of these. One. Two. Go with the bow. Dodge the tornado. Holy crap. Okay. Jesus, Jesus, fucking holy cow. Holy cow. Let's go for that one. Ooh, he almost dodged it. Go for this one too, just, I think, I think one of them should be enough, but we'll go for two, because we still need to get to level 50, so. Hey, level 45, my guy. Oh, fucking finally, holy shit. That was, a uh, that took days. <laughs> From when I was like, okay, the next thing to do is get level 45. That took forever. But we did it, and right now I'm gonna go ahead and learn the assault rifle and the assault rifle ammo. Nice. Next up will be like the palmetto armor and helmet, which should help with survivability. Um, and then I don't know if the rocket launcher is really good. Certainly the heat and cold palmetto armor will be good for exploring the desert in the ice area, which I honestly might have to make that to be able to explore those areas because the stuff up there hurts, but I can't use my like good armor um, because it doesn't have any heat resistance. So, we may have to do that, but for now we're good. We got a new gun, we could probably take on bosses now, so... I'm gonna put the point in there. And then I'm just gonna respawn at base. Hopefully it doesn't glitch anything out. Let's respawn. There we go. Alright, now let's make our new stuff. And make sure that our sphere production is still working well, too. Um, Alright, so... I know I'm going to want to do something with this... Seed mine at some point, but... I don't think I need to worry about that yet. I'll do that tomorrow, in the next section. Um, so, I think our eggs are done. Go ahead and hatch them. Then we can condense these Anubises at some point, too. Runner and Vanguard again, yeah. yeah I really should have gone and got, like, a good Pen King. And a good, uh... Bushi with good abilities and then bred those onto like a good Anubis. Something with handiwork or legend or something that makes me do more damage, but oh well. I'll put those eggs in. I might get something that gives experience from those actually, which would be awesome. Free experience. Uh, I'll stash all that. Now I know that we're going to need more gunpowder. Yeah, certainly more than just eight gunpowder. So, oh yeah, I need charcoal. That was the thing. So. I'm probably gonna... I think that's the gun that I use for the rest of the game, to be honest, so... Let's make a bunch of ammo and just be done with it for now. God, if I could get in the right spot to actually... Nope, oh, there we go. Okie doke. Charcoal. In. Boom. Here. Gunpowder. Don't wanna quite use all of it, let's do 100 ones, fine. Anubis, are you actually gonna come over and help? I don't even believe you. Wow, good on you, my friend. Now, I think we're gonna have to go here to make the gun. Where is it? Oh, I need polymer, to It's fine, I can make that. I think it's just the PAL oil, which I did, I did get a little bit from those Relaxasauruses a while ago, so I hopefully I have enough, yeah. 
Just make the exact amount that I need. Just throw my Anubis on this, get that done in a second. Okay, that caused that one who's actually doing handiwork, which is a miracle to stop doing what I wanted him to do though, which is a shame, but... Okay, 10 out of 10 polymer. Uh, I'll throw my Anubis back on the gunpowder. He'll do that super quick. And then, look at that thing, man. Assault rifle, all right. And get this video demonetized just from saying that, but... <laughs> Let's put Anubis on it. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. Not at all, look at that go. How we doing on the other stuff, too? Yeah, Paldium's going. Yeah, decent amount of wood for more charcoal. We'll have to reload the charcoal soon. Oh, great. Jarmantide's bugged out over there. you would love to see it. Let's go back here. There we go. Get his butt. Cooking my ingots for spheres. It's not gonna work. Yep, it's gonna work. <laughs> what are you gonna do? <laughs> I just cry about it, I guess. Alright, grab the assault rifle. Now I need a bunch of assault rifle ammo too. I need refined ingots. Oh, and two gunpowder per. So I'll just start with this and let me go grab some refined ingots. Hopefully that other base was doing its job. And uh, we're definitely going to need a lot more refined ingots. So I'll try to just load up production here before I leave. Okay, I got 86 ingots. Yeah, you see they just, they, this whole time they did not mine like any coal. These slackers, man. But I will do it for them. It's gonna be nighttime, so I'm gonna have to sleep to make everybody wake up and go back to work, but I'll just queue up some ingots before I go. And then we just we need this base to be doing its thing. Stockpiling ingots. Because we're gonna have to make a lot of ammo, I think. Look at that man, look how happy he is. Actually it kinda looks like he's cooking to death, but it's one or the other. He's either happy or he's cooking to death. Let's go ahead and slap this bad boy on. And we'll keep that guy just in case we end up having a use for him later. Yeah, we, we made that thing. We didn't even repair it once, I don't think. Made it the whole way without repairing it at all. I did almost the same thing with most of the shields too. I was able to get from one tier all the way to the next tier without having to repair it. Which is super nice. Just as far as being efficient with resources goes. So that's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and stash this coal. And I'm just going to grab the last coal node and we'll queue up in both furnaces as many ingots as we can. There we go. It seems like these guys gathered uh, quite a lot of iron actually since I've been away. It's just the coal that they didn't. Which is maybe because I came and mined all the coals, and then they decided to go do iron, and they just kept doing iron until it was all broken. By which point the coal had respawned and they hadn't been working on it, if that makes sense. I don't know, but uh, let's grab the ingots. So we can do 75 and 75 about. Oops. And that should be good. 81 and 81, that's good. 162 ingots. That'll make, isn't it times 5 on the assault rifle ammo, I think? So that'll be quite a bit of ammo. Uh, please let me into my own box. Please, 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 sir. Please, please. There we go. Good. Okay. Back over here. Anubis having a field day up there. He's freaking out. Uh oh. The hell happened there? Sign my guy to it, which made him unbug, I guess, which is cool. Uh, grab these ingots. Turn that straight into spheres. What is this man? It's got a giant butt plug. That's something, huh? I'll go here, 13, with the pal metal. So I'm just waiting on pal metal. I have a good amount of everything else. I gotta keep up on the carbon fiber, though, because it takes a long time to make the charcoal, but... Um, otherwise, we're pretty good. Uh, it's kind of slow, but it's going. Yeah, it's times five per... Suddenly freezing? Hello? Interesting. So, oh, it's because I had the heat armor on, I guess. It was, like, too insulating for the night. I am so curious to just go shoot something with this gun and see how it does, but I think I'm going to intentionally wait for the next section to do it, just to build some anticipation. Okay, so everybody back to work. Chop, chop. Just put my Anubis out, because he's the only one who actually does anything. Actually, you know what? Can you get on gunpowder and my Anubis? I need that first, and then... Oh my god, look at them all. So many Anubises, and all they do is mine. Oh, look, he actually came and produced... 
good man, my dude. Okay, he stopped because I said something. <laughs> Whatever. All right, double Anubis crafting. Super quick. Cool, cool. Now let's just queue up some more with the gunpowder that we have. And then there's gonna be a bunch more gunpowder done, which is cool. We'll just kinda wanna stockpile of that. Uh, not sure how we're really doing on sulfur. Probably need to make another sulfur trip somewhat soon, but yeah, we're down to 20. But we should have enough ammo to work with to start again. I think because it's an assault rifle, it's probably gonna burn through the ammo pretty quickly, but we'll find out when we go to use it. Um, so let me store anything that I can in these, but let me put... I guess you can just go in here, I guess it doesn't matter. And my old ammo, rifle ammo. Oh, I had assault rifle ammo somewhere in one of these chests, I guess. Probably not much, but... Oh yeah, look at that. I had some. Just from looting something at some point ages ago. This is so disorganized, I have no idea how crazy this makes me, but it's just the way it is. Unless I were to like sit down for an hour actually reorganizing everything and making new chests and blah blah blah, and I just don't think anyone wants to see that, so. Um, I'll make a little more. And then I'll save the rest of that sulfur just in case I need it for something else. Um, I should be able to queue up a bunch more ammo here too. I'm just gonna make a bunch. Cause again, I think this is like the, the gun that I use for the rest of the game, essentially. So I'll throw my Anubis on this one. Go double time on this speed here. Wait for that to finish. I can't take the gunpowder because the Jormantide is there, I think. But I really want the Jormantide there because he's actually cooking for once, so. Uh, oh well. All right, good. That's going, that's good. That makes me very happy. Uh, bow's gonna need to be repaired eventually, but it's fine for now. Armor's good enough. Shield's good enough. Do I get a better shield eventually? I think I have the best shield, right? Sure do. So it would just be the, the PAL metal armor, the heat resistant, cold resistant one, and yeah. So just the armor, maybe the rocket launcher too could be cool. That's not awful. One PAL metal and five gunpowder per shot, depending on how much it does, that's not awful. So that may be worth making eventually, but... No, I'm just gonna wait. Okay, this is another one of these stone nodes that I just need done with. I have a stone mining place, so there's absolutely no reason for a node to spawn here. So I'm just gonna put a sign that's gonna say no building on it or something, no mining <laughs> or something. I'm, I don't, I'm not gonna write anything on it actually, but I'm just hoping that prevents the, the node from respawning, which it seems like based on that other sign over there by the house that you can kind of see that it does work that way, which is wonderful. Um, okay, can make a bunch of ammo here, nice. That's only 150 shots, which again, I think may get burned through fairly quickly with um, with the assault rifle, but we'll, we'll find out when we go to use it. Um, okay, and then I'm assuming my iron base, my regular old iron base, has been generating a bunch of ore. I'm hoping it's been generating a bunch of ore and just stockpiling it there. So I can take that and combine it with all this palladium I've been making from all this stone to make more pal metal in the furnace. Once whatever's currently in the furnace going is done. Why don't I take out this and do that? That's fine. And that can go in there. There we go. Yeah, that's gonna take a while, but we should be able to make a ton more palladium when needed, and then just combine it with the ore to make this. That takes a long time to cook. I should probably make multiple furnaces if I wanted to cook it faster, but again, once I'm like out and about in the world doing things, it's just passively cooking. I come back and it's all done and then we're fine, so. Because uh, that thing is pretty expensive to make, the electric furnace. Um, would love, okay, good. I was gonna say would love for somebody else to come over and help get this done. Because then I can assign my Anubis here, we'll make all the spheres that we can possibly make. And then we're good. I mean, we got everything cooking. I should actually assign some more charcoal. Why don't I grab all the wood that I have? Oh, I accidentally put my arrows away somewhere. Oh, there's only eight wood in there, I'm not even gonna bother. Uh, I gotta find my arrows, though. <laughs> I keep ending up in the chest, because those Vixies generate free arrows. Which is nice, and I think it's worth it, it's just... Then the transport pals decide to go put them in one of these chests. Usually this one, yep. And then when I hit R to like store all the same, yep. And then the pal spheres and the arrows go away. So that stinks. 
I'll just fill those, plug those spaces like that for now. Um. Okay. They're almost done. I'll have enough ingots for two more spheres, which will be nice. Eggs will be done for some free XP, hopefully soon. Choir. Okay, I'm just gonna wait for this to finish. I was gonna cancel it, but honestly, it's whatever. Ten seconds, just... Let him cook. Literally and figuratively. There we go, dope. Okay, I don't think I have a ton of wood. Eh. I mean, I'm kind of generating it as quickly as I'm able to cook it, so I guess it's working out. So, let's do that. I need lots of charcoal for lots of fiber for lots of spheres. So that's the production chain here. We can put our excess gunpowder away. I thought I had some somewhere already. But I may have used it when I tried to when I went to craft, so okay. We'll do that. And then carbon fiber here. I'm gonna save some, like 30 more. For more spheres, which we don't need at the moment, but we will soon. Grab our ammo. Perfect. Grab our uh, metal. Come over here and just cancel this. Since literally nobody has come to work on it this whole time. Make sure we get our materials back. And then we should be able to queue up even more. 19. Okay. So we'll be up to 21. Which again, if it's like a guaranteed capture and run. I mean, not guaranteed. But if it does capture and one, Whereas it would have taken 50 or 100 or not even been possible with the base level sphere. Then I'd say it's worth it. Um... I think when it comes to capturing like those really crazy legendary pals though, it's probably going to take quite a few of them, so I will need to keep stockpiling. I'll need hundreds of these essentially is what I'm trying to say. Um, and I'll probably need to use those stun grenades and that kind of stuff too, so. I'm actually going to see while I'm thinking about it if I could just queue some up and then... Uh, it takes fiber, which I know I can make it the mill thingamajig, but the mill thingamajig is busy, so. We'll just make some for now. Uh, I'll just make five for now. And then when I'm like, oh, I need shot grenades, I'll go to make them and they'll be in there and I'll be like, whoa. It's like I read my own mind in the future. And that'll be cool. Because catching those, like, legendary super high level pals, yeah, it's gonna take, I think it's gonna take the shot grenade plus a bunch of legendary spheres. Um, otherwise we're in pretty good shape here, I would say. I could potentially, you know what? Uh, well, it's my Anubis that's making those spheres. That's what I'm stalling for. I was gonna say, I could go to the other bases now that I'm rank 20 with the base levels or whatever. Um, I could probably assign a couple more mining pals just to speed up that production as well. Which might be worth doing. But, I don't want to leave because nobody's gonna come work on this thing other than my Anubis and I just want these spheres to finish so that I can end the section. Uh, yeah, 319 assault rifle ammo, new weapon we'll try out next time, really hoping it does damage. Oh my god, but see, yeah, so just 320 attack, and, I mean, even the old musket I was using has 1,000, and this one was 1,100, yeah. So it's basically a third, less than a third of the damage per shot of the one I was just using. And the one I was just using didn't seem like it did that much damage to bosses to begin with. Um, but I'm assuming just the rapid-fire aspect of it, it's gonna be way higher DPS. Um, but boy, am I gonna need a lot of ammo to, to actually do good damage. So, probably gonna have to do a couple sulfur trips. Gonna have to take some of the charcoal that we've been using for making fiber and dedicate that towards making gunpowder. And then we're gonna need a ton of refined ingots to make all this ammo too. Considering it's only... I'm gonna just take these. Considering it's only five bullets per refined ingot, so that's going to be the plan going forward. We'll, uh, we'll teach one of our pals, probably the Jormantide, the seed bomb, seed mine, and see if that's as good as people say it is, and then hope that that, combined with the gun, can take out the next boss down here in the desert. And then I'll try the next boss after that, which I don't remember is in the, the desert or the ice area. This is the volcano, I meant to say, not desert. Um, see if we can maybe do anything to them. I don't want to go fight them and then, like, use all my ammo, like, hundreds of ammo. Hundreds of bullets. And then not defeat him, which is what happened the first time I went to go fight the, 
lightning guy. I used like all my ammo and then didn't defeat him, so it was just like a huge waste of resources in the end. Um, but we'll see what we can do. And then I very well may need to get to level 50 and like farm skill fruits and actually like breed good abilities on pals to make them strong enough to be able to take on the last two bosses. I don't know, but we're basically doing this playthrough until we get the thousand gamer score, and that means I'm gonna have to defeat the next two bosses. So that's that's the goal. That's what we're working on here in this hell cursed base in this incredibly addictive but also very buggy <laughs> and sometimes very annoying game. Um, but I'm very happy. Wanted level 45 for a long time. Finally got it. Got the new weapon. Uh, got the new spheres, which is huge. And we are in very good shape moving forward, I would say. I'd say we hit a new benchmark where we're, like, really pushing into, like, the almost end game now. I'd say this is, like, the second to last step before the end game. Um, I guess maybe there's one more step, which would be, like, the, the PAL metal armor and the heat-resistant and cold-resistant armor and exploring the desert and the ice area. And then once that's done, it's just, like, pure end game, as in, like, you've done everything and you're just doing, like post-game stuff, essentially. So, very, very close. Been quite the journey. But that is all for now, so thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you have a good one. Take care. Peace.